Uh, <laughs> Jillian. <sighs> okay. So I was hoping that my mother or father, whichever one's louder. Which, could, which one do you have the most energy on? Like an unfinished business or they died sadder or? They were both sad. Okay. I, unfortunately, because it's I a know. whole event, I can only um, do one. I would think my mom would come through. Mom. Okay. Um, your mom says she has beautiful eyes. She has beautiful she eyes. She has beautiful eyes. Yeah. Um, did you get her eyes or does she just think she has beautiful eyes? I think she thinks she has beautiful eyes. Fair enough. Fair I have enough. my father's. Um, it's interesting. I love how perspectives can differ between kids and their parents because she thinks you got all of her good qualities. <laughs> and you might feel more like your dad, but your mom seems to think you're a lot like her. See the ownership they try and place on kids mm -hmm. that way? Um, for you, you were supposed to have a daughter. Did you have the daughter? You didn't have the daughter. Mm. She feels like you were born to be a mother. Did you get to have kids? No, no children. You understand this bothers your mom. Probably. It's, 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 <laughs> it's just <laughs> um, There still are mothers when they die, so they'll still say things like this. So she just always thought there'd be a granddaughter that would carry her name and that yeah. would be like her. That's all. It's okay. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to bring through your dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. um, she is showing you as a caretaker that you take care of people. Did you take care of her? Yes. Okay. So that's a, her showing gratitude. That's thank you for being her caretaker. She feels as though you were um, an angel on earth. That's the way she's putting it. And that you were made to help people through those times as though it's almost a calling. So don't be surprised later in life if you end up being a hospice nurse or doing something along those lines where you sit with people, you just have a higher calling. It's a spiritual calling. Yeah. And she's, she sees this about you. Mm. And she's also saying thank you for taking care of how she looked. It feels like she needed to be presentable and she, her appearance was very important to her. So I feel like your mom was a very proud woman. Yes. And, but also a very put together woman. You yes. Know, didn't go out without lipstick kind of a woman. You know <laughs> what I mean? Okay. She says um, she just was feeling as though she wasn't herself at all at the end. Like she'd lost herself is the way she's putting it. Um, was there something going on with her cognitively? She had dementia for about 10 years. Okay. Inside, she was the same. I know. Okay. She says she wants you to know she loved you every minute of that time. And she couldn't always articulate what yeah. she was feeling, but you knew. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Being a mother was everything to her. It was just absolutely, she wants you to know that was everything. and. She feels as though maybe you didn't realize how much she mattered to her, and she's sorry about that. Um, you have a stoic nature, like a law. Your mom also had that. Yeah. So she's not wrong. You're similar. So <laughs> sometimes, you know, you butt heads when you're too much alike, right? Yeah. So, um, but she always loved you. It's just she liked to challenge you sometimes, you know? Yeah, and, she was good at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's because she always knew you could do more. Like, you could do anything. She just saw you as being this um, perfect little being that she had. And she just wanted you to have the world. That's all. It was out of love, not judgment. But I feel like she came off a little judgy sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No. The things that she likes doing with you is she likes going out to eat. So she still goes out to eat with you. Like she likes to go to restaurants. Um, but she also likes to go uh, to the store. 
So she likes to go grocery shopping and shopping <laughs> with you. So she's still around you daily. Um, can I can I ask a question? Yes. Can you tell me if the dogs are with her? <laughs> She says, your children, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, she's going to take care of them for you until you're there. So don't worry. Um, she seems to like to pretty them up by, like, combing them with, like, the hand brush and stuff. So she takes really good care of them. And she says they like to lay out in the sun, in the grass. And so that's how they spend most of their day. <laughs> she's, she likes having them around. She's proud of you for living the life, life the way you choose and the way you wanted to and not the way everybody else thought you should. So she had to live life the way other people thought she should, and you did the opposite. So she is proud of you for that. You're a little rebel. <laughs> <laughs> she says, you already know she's good. She's like, you know, she's fine. So, you know, she just needed to thank you for everything you did for her and let you know that she absolutely challenged you, that you're a lot alike, but she loves you more than anything. And so please never forget that. Um, she's also holding your dad's hand. So they did choose each other. They chose to be together. Um, it feels like nobody could push like each other's buttons the way they could with each other. But it was a love thing. It was almost like a dance they did in the bickering, the back and forth. Yeah. And... Um, she said, so you can picture them doing that now, but with a smile on their face. And um, so your mom's 22, um, your dad's 25, and those are the ages they like being. So just take out pictures of them at that age and put it on your nightstand and say goodnight to them at bed and you're ready for a visit and let them come through. I'm going to break my connection with Thank her you. and send them with you. <laughs>